All right, everybody, we got such a good show tonight, a lot of fun stuff planned. Uh, we've been doing uh, something that I think has been very edifying for everybody. Uh, we've been shining uh, recently a bit of a spotlight, not on me, but on my staff. I have a lot of talented people that work for me at the show. Uh, these are uh, terrific people. They contribute a lot to the show over the last 14 years, and uh, we've learned a lot. Today, I want to do it again. I want to shine a light on a uh, very talented man. He's the director of uh, special effects. He's the person that provides all the cool special effects that we do here on our talk show. And uh, his name's John Greenfield, and he's done a lot of work for us. The other day, uh, this is actually a little while ago, right, because I still had the beard. I met with him in the uh, special effects lab here in 30 Rock. I spent a little time with him. It was pretty fascinating. Take a look. I'm standing here with John Greenfield. John, your title is? Special Effects Director. Special Effects Director. Uh, our show uh, likes occasionally to do some special effects, and you're the guy we go to. A lot of successes, sometimes an occasional yeah. blooper, misfire. Yeah. yeah, happens. Would you say that I'm calm and kind in those moments? Absolutely. You shook your head no when you said yes. Absolutely. You realize that? You said, absolutely. <laughs> Your signal, I think, got out to everyone watching. Nicely done. John, you're going to do a little demonstration for us now. Tell us what we're going to do. We're going to take an object normally found on your desk and... The famous Eisenhower blow it up. mug? Yes. Yeah. And you're going to do what to it? I'm just going to blow it up. Blow it up. I might wear protective glasses. I hope it's okay. I've taken the liberty of borrowing your look. <laughs> you always wear yellow glasses. Why? Gives me a fresh outlook when I come into the office. Sure. The whole world looks like it's been doused in urine. Should I give you a countdown? On three. Does that mean we start on three and go to one? Or does it mean we start on one and go to three? And is it on three or is it after three? Uh, it's on three and start at one. Okay. One, two, hold it. So it's on three. It's on three. Okay. Is it weird to start on one? Should we start on zero? Perhaps, yes. Okay. Zero. One. Two. Now, all right, on th it's going to be on three and then the explosion. Do you right. want to do it after three? Three. How about one, two? I think it's more dramatic to go one, two. Um, this, this is the way I am. I'm one of those kind of guys. I'm a guy that's like, like one, two, because three, the suspense is really like, nah! and then after three, it happens. And then where four would be the explosion. That way you get to hear three. Gotcha. Cool? Gotcha. Let's go. And we, let's lose zero. One. <laughs> Two, three. <laughs> Not bad. That was pretty good. And there was a cracking sound. Paint held it together. This stuff I'm breathing. Is that toxic? Uh, slightly, yeah. That's great. Is it really toxic? Well, there's some metal fragments in there. We're breathing metal fragments? Yeah. Well, we What's have that? A, what, the, what, what is that? We have a nice overhead exhaust system. And this is the exhaust system that's supposed to save my life right now. Look at that right there. The smoke is actually coming out of it. John, what you got there? Hand flash unit. You said it very quickly. Hand flash. Hand flash unit. Hold your hand up then. Whoa! I have a criticism of the way you did it. You just went, uh, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, you know what I mean? You sure. have to probably uh, put a little uh, showmanship into it to really sell it, right? Right. How dare you meddle with me! You're a mere mortal, and I, a god! <laughs> Afterwards, there's a little bit of a feeling. That I probably oversold it with my acting. <laughs> you know what I mean? You expected more. I'm a guy who's bragging about I was a god, and then bloop! Does this power anything? There's a, there's a little... Whoa! That's, uh, the trouser wiggler. Trouser wiggler? Yes. You put that in your pants. You put this in your pants. Oh, and it makes it look like... Something's going on. Yeah, it's radio controlled. Yeah. And I've heard about these new models that are radio controlled. The one my dad had was gas powered. <laughs> okay, John, you're now ready to uh, make a second attempt exploding the Eisenhower. Yes. Uh, what are you going for this time that wasn't achieved the first time? Complete destruction. You want the whole mug to fly apart. That's what I intended, yes. One, two, three, four. <laughs> My favorite thing to do is, is one of those things where you put in the key and you turn it, and then what do I push? As you 
bring these up to the arm position, they will fire. Wow, okay. Can I do this? Is that all right? Yeah, yeah. All right, let's do this a uh, little, let's have some theatrics to this, okay? Okay. The movie's called uh, uh, Tender is Midnight, and uh, your character's name is Lorraine. Lorraine. <laughs> Lorraine, yes, an attractive uh, waitress. And action. Sir, the situation's crazy. No, 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 just use your normal voice. Right, let's right. try it again. All right. And uh, you, you, you're a woman that's been turned into a man. And action. Sir, the situation is critical. The weapon must be fired. I need the key. Oh, let's try it again. Tender's Midnight, uh, take two. Action. Sir, we're under attack. The weapon must be fired. If you hold the key up, I can see it. Take three. Well, uh, scene where Lorraine enters. A man. And action. Sir, the situation is critical. The weapon must be fired. Damn it, I don't have the key. Yes! It's in God's hands now. What you got, John? Crying glasses. Crying glasses. And what do they do? You put these on? Put them on. Uh-huh. And it simulates that I actually yeah. have, have emotions. This time, let's do it on three. Got it? Okay. So we're three would be, but I won't say three. Or do you want me to say three, but it's still on three? Say it. Okay. One, two, three. A little much, don't you think? All right, we'll take a break. When we come back, uh, Sean Thayer is here with his crazy military robot. Stick around. Stick around. Tonight on Carson, begin the first annual chicken wing eating contest. 450 million wings at just Rosie O'Donnell's house. Tonight. Good. Yeah. Right. Now we're all breathing metal fragments. <laughs> Enjoy. 